So this past Saturday was, uh, well, actually Sunday was Isla's fifth birthday, my daughter Isla, and we had a party on Saturday. Um, before the party, though, man, I want to tell you about this. Did we talk about the slip and slide? No. On here. So everybody, you know, who hadn't went down a slip and slide in their time? Who hasn't been injured on a slip and slide? Injured? Yeah, hell goodness. Yeah. All yeah. right, so I got, we're going to do a slip and slide. Friends are coming over. This wasn't on the birthday party, but this was a, this was a week or two ago. And I got to I gotta, I gotta trade diff- very lightly here. Okay. I don't want to say anything. It gets me in trouble. We mm. may have to have Amy come back. We'll see. What'd you do? To be determined. <laughs> um, I don't want to have to. I don't, I'm not intentionally doing things to bring Amy back in here every Thursday. But I just got to say, man, I got. We get a slip and slide. I get this thing out. It's rather short, you know. In my opinion, you know, I, I think slip and slides should be, I don't know, thirty feet long, at least, you know, something like that. This thing's short. All right, okay. just just gets down a hill from here to the door, not far at all. I'm thinking, well, you know, they're gonna end all, they're gonna end up in the yard at the end of this thing. It's gonna mess up the yard, get a little muddy down there, um, and let's get a tarp. So I get a big tarp and put it at the end of the slip and slide. That's 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 neither here nor there. But anyway, so I extend the length of this thing. Perfect. They go down the slide. I got it turned on. They're going down, and. Isla goes down at one time and walked back up the side of the slip and slide in the grass, and an ant got her and went up her leg and bit her. Like that. Just like that. And, I mean, it's been two damn minutes. And she is, this ant bite is a serious problem. She's crying. we got to go inside. We are done with the slip and slide. Now, her friends played with it another 5, 10, 20 minutes max. Wow. And then that's it. I had, to, and then I got it. I had to fold it all back up, and it's just sitting off on the side of the yard now. What the hell am I gonna do with that thing? Bring it here. We'll use it. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm not upset at Isla. I'm not upset with anything, anyone. But I, I sit, every day I get up and I look out there at that slip and slide folded up on the side of the damn yard, yep. and I'm it, it angers me for some reason. You feel like you wasted. Wasted to get slip and slide. I'm like, I'm gonna throw that damn thing in the trash. That's not what I need to do, though, is it, Mike? No, no, no. Don't throw it away. You're bringing up a point. I think I, I think I'm tracking with what you're putting down. Cause see, I uh, could it be, could it be this? Could it be this that's bothering you? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, my kids have bikes. Yeah. We we would spend all day on our bike. You know, back in the days, right? Yeah. You know, you put the cans on the wheels yeah. to make the motorcycle sound. Hell you'd, yeah. you'd, you'd do stuff to your spot. You'd You'd, you'd uh, doll it up, you, you know, you'd accessorize yeah. it, whatever it is. Your bike was everything. Yeah. I can't get mine to go out there for more than five minutes and ride these dang things. I got tricycles and shit just sitting idle and in the it, damn and driveway. It, and that bugs me. Now, is it? it's like, wait a second. Isla doesn't recognize the slip and slide was a rite of passage. The slip and slide was one of the all-time great toys. It's almost like looking at a big wheel and going, eh, that yeah. doesn't look interesting enough. Wait, whoa, get, there's some toys. To Isla's just- credit, now, had the ant not bit her, I think she'd have went up and down that damn thing, and we'd have been playing there for a while. But I'm with, I know it's, you're, you're kind of, you, you're, definitely, you're definitely tracking on the right path. I got tricycles sitting in the yard. Unt- un- un- unused. Touched. Right. Right. What is what? that? Well, yeah, it's unacceptable. <laughs> Rusting away. <laughs> Rusting away. Um, the other thing too, man. I mean, so Isla has a birthday. We're we're um, you know, we're getting all kinds of toys, and and she's into uh, the hell. She's you know she's watching uh, Gabby's Dollhouse. She's into Gabby's Dollhouse. It's a cartoon. Okay. So in into the house, you know, friend, we had friends come over. It was awesome. A lot of her schoolmates. So I'm talking to parents that I'm I'm kind of getting to know for the first time. I see them in the hall at school when we pick the kids up, but we don't, you know, we're not we ain't never hung out at a birthday party. So this is awesome. We're having some beers. The kids are playing. We got a bouncy house. Everything about that was awesome. All of the toys that come, whether I don't care, who, my sister brings them. We. Our, the toys that we have given Isla for her birthday, 
they have all these tiny little freaking pieces that mm. end up everywhere. Mm. Oh man, the anxiety. I so there there's a you know, there's a dollhouse and it comes with, let's just say, teacups and plates and seats and stools and all the things that you would do to furnish a dollhouse and in freaking one 24 hour period that shit is strewn from one end of the house to the next yeah it ain't nowhere near the dollhouse it's no longer part of the dollhouse experience oh. now we just got just I, I don't know i mean cussing mad i <laughs> just don't know how to manage my frustrations over that are you talking about pieces that just like you know in the dollhouse there's a set of teacups are you talking about pieces that you have to no, you no, need no. to the put pieces, it together no no the, the little teacups. Just all the stuff that comes all with it. All the little teeny yeah, things that right, come with it right. end up carried away and over here and in this room and in this room and underneath the couch and uh -huh. and on the coffee table. Yep. And I'm like, well, no, 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 no. Like, my mind goes, if I see this shit and it ain't where, it ain't near the dollhouse or in the dollhouse, I'm putting it in the trash. I know that's ooh, wrong. I ooh, know that's wrong. Wow. I, feel, I feel bad for even feeling that way. Yeah. Oh, oh, <clears throat> overreach. Well, they ain't never going to look at the teacup lit, sitting in the laundry room and go, oh, that belongs in my playhouse in my room. Let me take it there. I had a situation where you got my kids a, a if kitchen I set and my hot dog, one of the plastic hot dogs was in my toolbox. I'm not picking the hot dog up and putting it back. No. I'm throwing this damn thing away. All they right. obviously don't care that it's there. They're not missing it. Until they know that you threw it away. They never do. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do, parents? I want to know because, damn it, it if it's if it was up to me, now I don't throw this stuff away because Amy does not prefer that. Amy wants, you know, if they're gonna, you know, they Amy's like you, like they might they're gonna wonder where the teacup is one day. Yeah, one day they're not gonna have the whole set. They're gonna wonder where yeah. it is. Um, I don't believe that is the case, but Amy doesn't want to throw it away in case they do say, "Hey, man, where's the parts to all this?" Remember what Nicole was doing Ugh. on that FaceTime when she was like, where's my chicken nuggets? And you're like, the dog ate them. Yeah. And she's like, well, where's my chicken nugget? And you're like, they're gone. The dog yeah. ate them. That'll be the way it is with the teacup or whatever it is, that accessory. One day they're going to come ask for them. You're going to say, gone. it's gone. And they're going to not Vac be able to process that. And they're going to like, well, find it. And you're <laughs> like, I can't find it. It's gone. Vacuumate it. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. Yeah. I don't like stepping on the dang little t toys. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's obvious uh, with with that kind of thing there. Yeah. But I mean, that's how I find them most times is like I kick something or step you, on it. Are your girls in the Legos? Yeah. Not yet. Oh yeah. Step on one of them things. Well, of course. I mean, everybody, <laughs> yeah, that's a common, uh, common thing that people complain about is stepping on Legos, how uncomfortable it is. But I truly need to figure out how to manage the frustrations over this because I don't like little shit laying everywhere. I like things to look clean, organized. I like stuff to go where it goes. You know, that's this is how the ten millimeter socket gets lost. This is how the <laughs> quarter inch wrench gets <laughs> lost. This is how. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I think you need therapy. <laughs> I yeah. think you have mental health problems. Honestly, <laughs> I promise you, if I could sit on that couch with a therapist right now, that's what, in ten minutes I'd have this figured out. <laughs> it's thanks for coming up. But I'm gonna carry this shit around all day. Right? <laughs> you will. <laughs> um. Anyways, the, the birthday party was really, really good. Isla is now five. And I can't even believe that. Hey, if you like that video, like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another piece of Dirty Mode Media content.